hi everyone welcome to my channel uh, in this video I'll be introducing you to Stata Stata is a statistical analysis software okay unlike uh, eviews Stata is uh, mostly code driven okay this is not to say that we can use manual approach in fact in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, get your uh, code okay from Stata by using the menu approach okay in brief uh, we have like four or five windows in Stata okay this here is the result window this is where you have the result of all the code you run in Stata this is the command window this is the place to type a code okay to generate result this is the variable window this is where you have a variable when you bring the data into Stata and this is the review window this is where you your codes the codes you run on for your analysis this is where they are stored okay you see it when we start analysis proper as it is now there's no data in it so we need to bring in data so one of the things some of the things we'll be looking at in this video is how do we import data data into stata how do we create a log file how do we create a do file and how do we run a single regression okay uh briefly if you come over here here we have data data it's like a spreadsheet okay uh, this is where we our data variable we have in the software we brought in the software this is where they display okay at a glance you have it here okay and uh over here you have the do file this do file you can uh, write your code okay and run it at one instead of having to come down here you can write your code one by one you can write all your codes in that file and then run it and you have your result display all at once okay so right now i want to bring the data into stata there are about two ways of doing that so i'm going to demonstrate the two ways okay come to file okay uh import uh, you must note that you must have saved your data in excel file as a spreadsheet okay so you come in import as a spreadsheet you click on that you come here import for sure as variable name okay and then you come here and come and browse you want to locate your data on the system so you click on the browse and then uh, it brings you down here. Yeah? I have my data saved in document. I'm going to click on document, document, and then it's going to bring it out. You see, data panel. This is the data I'm going to be using for this uh, 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 video. So I'm just going to double click. Okay, I have the data here. Yeah? I click on OK. So I have the data imported into stata okay you see here you see the variable here okay this shows you that i have imported an excel file here okay and over here everything that is demonstrated here is recorded here if you click on the data editor you see the data at once at a glance okay uh so that is that yeah i uh, want to see the summary statistics uh, of this variable you have here you can just come here and click on sum and then uh tab the variable invest or you just come here and click on this arrow button shares fixed capital you click on enter you see it gives you observation means standardization standard deviation minimum maximum okay uh that is that okay before i do that i was supposed to have a uh create the log file open a log file this log file help you save all your analysis everything you've been doing you can have it readily, readily saved on your system how do you do that you come in you see log file begin it's going to ask you to give it a name okay so we're just going to name this data beginning okay we click on save all right okay so everything we are doing now right from now will be saved into that log file okay so let's do this again now look at it. every of the code we run here you see there's store here so if you want to recall any code just come back here and click i click on it i run again i did it because i want this to be saved in the log file okay uh so uh that that is that okay and uh okay if you want to run regression analysis and perhaps you do not know the code it's very easy you can come here and use the menu approach okay you can come to statistics here this statistics houses that statistic buffing houses a lot of regression analysis that you can do okay like for example you have uh summary tables and tests let's say you're looking at linear model you want to do a linear regression 
linear regression just to click on linear regression okay the dependent variable what are we saying this dependent variable click here let's say we are picking a vest it's dependent variable and our independent variable we are looking at uh, shares and uh, face capital there about okay come here and click on your okay you see you have your result display okay you have your, your result display okay uh see the regression result so the code to run this regression analysis is regress this is the command and then the variable usually the way this works is is the command and the variables you want to attach to the command you see that you use a command alone or command and the variables you want attached to the command so here the code that uh generate this regression result is regress invest share face capital so sometimes if you do not know the code you can come to this statistics uh uh, uh button and click on it and identify the kind of analysis you would love to perform okay and other than writing regressive a simple rec we do the trick for type rec and then uh invest share face capital and then click on your enter you have the same thing you have the same so this is a simple regression result if you would like to perform a diagnostics test you come here you see regression diagnostics which one do you want to perform specification tests okay heteroscedasticity information test let's say you're looking for heteroscedasticity test just click on it and uh come here and click on okay it's test you see you have your result here okay you have a result here. The code to com, com, uh, to uh, generate your uh, heteroscedasticity test result is ESTAT, then ETEST. It's as uh, simple as that. Okay. And then how do you create your do file? Let's assume that all these things. Okay. You, you want to do it some other time. Okay. Now let's close the log file. Let's say we're done. We're done with this analysis. So you come here close this analysis has been saved in your system and will open it shortly uh, but before you do that I want to show you how to use your do file how do you how do you use do file instead of coming here to run your code one by one okay we have to do some summary statistics then we have to run the regression and then, then we have to conduct the heteroscedasticity test okay we can just have this in the do file and run it all at once instead of having to type the code one by one how do you do that you just come here and click on your do file this is do file okay uh but before that let's come here and copy the code we use for this analysis okay put it your control button and uh click on some some uh okay regress then uh this, these are basically three codes we use for the analysis okay this one gives us the summary statistics the regress gives us the um the regression result and then the s that s gives us the heteroscedasticity test so we can just copy copy then come to this place and open your do file when you open your do file just click on enter enter as it is you can save this file okay we can run this and then we have the same result we had in the first place let's see let's see how it works okay i'm just going to minimize this so that we can see the way it works okay so if we click on this we have the result yeah okay everything we've done before we have the display here look at it the summary statistics the regression result and then the post estimation does the heteroscedasticity test so that is what the do file do okay you can just open your do file and have all your codes written in the do file then after that you just run it you have your result all displayed at once okay another thing is uh how do you generate series how do you generate series in ruby let's say we want to lock how do you generate lock okay you can just come here and say generate uh lean uh, let's say invest equal to lock invest we are saying that you should create a variable called lean invest okay that corresponds to the log of invest okay so you come here and press enter we've generated it if you come here 
it will say lane inverse that is log of inverse okay so if we want to generate a variable generate lane inverse equals log inverse okay uh, so uh that that's that is that and then um okay now let me about the uh the log file okay i told you when you open your log file log, log file help you to save your work or your analysis and then you can go back and see everything you've done at once so let's go back the last time we did we saved our we saved it on document and that was a state type beginning so we come back here and see what we have document okay state type beginning you see we click on it Sorry, the system is a little slow. And then we have everything we have done. Okay, that's what log file does. Everything we've done in uh, Stata, you see? We have it there. That's because we open the log file and when we are done, we close the log file. So everything we have done prior, before closing the log file, this is what we have. We have the summary statistics, we have the regression analysis, and then we have the uh, heteroscopic statistics, uh, something like that. So, uh, enjoy the video. But before you leave this channel, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and help share this video with friends. Watch out for the next video on panel analysis. Thank you.